carrying on looking at working in our timeline, there are a few more tools that we might find very helpful, such as being able to trim an event, just choosing part of an event or a part of a number of events and getting rid of the bits around it, or deleting sections of an event or events. Also copying sections so that we can paste them elsewhere and extracting them, just, just getting rid of the various bits that we want, which is very similar to delete, except extract adds it to your clipboard so you could then paste it later on if you wanted to. So the difference between delete and extract is delete does not copy it to your clipboard, whereas extract does copy it to your clipboard, giving you access to it later on to paste it elsewhere. So let me just run through these with you. They're very simple. First thing to say is I do have auto ripple selected and it is affecting just the affected track. OK, so it's just affecting this track, just so you know it's there. Now I'm going to make a selection and I want to be able to trim to just this. So this is the bit I want to keep from this event and I want to get rid of the rest of the bits on the event. If you right click on it, you'll see that you've got the option to trim, keyboard shortcut control T, click on that and the other bits have gone. Notice that they've not auto rippled. OK, you would have expected them to auto ripple, but they haven't. Now, just a word of warning. Look what happens when I start moving the events around. If I move this event, it works independently. This event sort of doesn't. And this event sort of doesn't. And you think, oh, my goodness, what's going on? Well, actually, what's causing that is this here auto ripple. If you turn auto ripple off, you'll find that you can move your events independently and bring them back. So just bear in mind that auto ripple is quite an effective item. So I'm going to control Z a few times to get back to where I started. There we go. So that's the clip. And now I'm going to select to delete. And it's exactly the same thing. Select and go in and you can click delete. Now the keyboard shortcut is the delete key. I don't have auto ripple on. I'm going to click auto ripple so it is on. And then I'm going to make that same selection. And I'm just going to hit the delete key. And you'll see that it auto ripples. However, if I was to come here and I was do a control V or edit paste. So if I go edit I've got no paste. So if I wanted to cut that bit out to move it somewhere else and do a control V, nothing's going to happen. OK, so control Z to undo that. That is to trim and to delete. I've still got auto ripple selected. The other two are copy. So you can copy a piece of a clip and use it elsewhere. So it's copied to clipboard and paste it somewhere else and extract, which is like lifting it from the timeline, putting it into your clipboard and putting it somewhere else later. Now, those presently are done through the edit menu. So when you go to edit, you can actually go to cut and copy. They've got keyboard shortcuts, control X and control C. So if I select a section and I do control C to copy, and I go somewhere else in my timeline and I go control V to paste, there it is, it's pasted in. Now sometimes these don't work because keyboard shortcuts are not in place. So if you don't have keyboard shortcuts in place, remember you can go to options, customize keyboard, and then if you go to track view and go down your track view, we can actually add them in. Now you can see here I've got the options copy and cut and I've got control C for copy, control X for cut, Click in there and type it into the shortcut box. Click OK. Cut. Again, select it. Type it in this area and click OK. So if they don't come up and they don't work, add them into your keyboard shortcuts. So let's do one more. Control Z. Bring it back here. This time I want to extract. So I kind of want to lift it up. I want it to ripple delete and I want to then put it somewhere else. So I'm not copying it. I'm not leaving it there, but I do want to get rid of it. It's like delete but I actually want to bring it up. So that's control X or edit cut. And it's gone like delete. But when I go here and I do edit paste, which is control V, if you want to do edit paste control V, there is the section I cut ready to use elsewhere. So it's a brilliant way of picking things up and shifting them around in the timeline or saying, I want to use that again, selecting it and moving it. These are simple tools with powerful effect to quickly move in your timeline and create some excellent results. My name's Andrew Davis. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thanks for watching.